Wednesday is on Thursday. And you know what I realized? There is no army base named after women or African Americans. In fact, the entire U.S. military has more bases named after Confederate soldiers than after female or black veterans. So we're going to fix that tonight with... The wall of people who deserve to have bases named after them instead of Confederate generals. There are many black women who deserve to have their names on military bases instead of Confederate generals, like Mary Tuvestre. Mary was an enslaved black woman with a talent for drawing. One day during the Civil War, she happened to see a drawing of the Confederacy's plans for a new warship. So she pulled out some tissue paper from her dress, traced the plans, walked to DC, and handed them to the Navy's chief admiral. And when she did, she changed the course of history because that wasn't just any ship. Those were plans for the first ever ironclad ship. It's the reason why the Union Navy dominated the seas and why America's Navy is so revered today. But there is no Fort Tuvestre. Instead, we have Fort Beauregard, named after Confederate General Pierre Gustave Toutant Beauregard, who was a traitor and a losing ass bitch. <laughs> you know who else should have a base named after them? William Cathay. William was a freed slave who wanted to serve his country, so he joined the army, rose through the ranks, and ended up serving with the famous Buffalo Soldiers. Then William fell ill and checked into an army hospital where it was discovered that he was actually a woman, Cathay Williams. Cathay had disguised herself as a man so she could fight for her country, something that many black women of that time period did. Cathay should have a base named after her, but instead of Fort Williams, we have Fort Pickett, named after Confederate General George Pickett, who fled to Canada after the South lost the war. So he was a coward and a traitor and a losing ass bitch. <laughs> now, FDR didn't care too much for black people, but he made an exception. Eleanor Roosevelt's friend, Mary McLeod Bethune. Mary could have an audience with FDR at any time, and she convinced him to slide an amendment into a bill that gave funding to HBCUs. When the U.S. was preparing for war, the Army didn't have enough pilots, so Mary convinced the First Lady to tour HBCUs where students were learning to fly. At one stop, Eleanor went for a plane ride with a black pilot, and that's what convinced the public that black men could fly planes. Which means Mary single-handedly paved the way for the Tuskegee Airmen. Oh, to walk the grounds at Camp Bethune. But instead, we have Fort Hood, named after Confederate General John Bell Hood, who was a traitor and a losing-ass bitch. <laughs> and also extremely ugly. Look at him. He looks like a melting Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Next up... Araminta Ross. Araminta Ross was a famous tour guide until the government of Massachusetts begged her to help the Union in the Civil War. She led the expeditionary forces on raids, trained soldiers, and had such a profound effect that the general in charge of South Carolina told his troops to free any slaves they came across. Now, that made Abraham Lincoln furious until slaves started joining the Union Army. It not only gave the Union an advantage, it led to the Emancipation Proclamation. Araminta even got a pension, but it wasn't under her birth name. It was under her new name. You're going to flip. <laughs> Harriet Tubman! Fort Tubman. It has a nice ring to it. But instead, we have Fort Benning, which sounds like trash because it is trash because it's named after Confederate General Henry Benning, who was trash. He said, by the time the North shall have attained the power, the black race will be in a large majority, and then we will have black governors, black legislatures, black juries, black everything. Is it to be supposed that the white race will stand for that? Well... Have a seat, bitch, because it's happening. <laughs> now, here are some other black women who are more deserving of having military bases named after them. Famous chef and Food Network star, Sonny Anderson. You know what she's also famous for? Not being a freaking traitor. <laughs> Radio talk show host, Robin Quivers. She was a captain in the Air Force. And Fort Quivers is just a cool-sounding name. Or you could also pick... 
my mommy. Mommy cute and mommy smart and mommy served in the Air Force. Another fun fact about mommy, she has never taken up arms against her government. So there you go. It's all fixed. Yay, we did it. I'm happy. Let's get rid of those embarrassing losers and let's get into honoring some real heroes. And if you run out of black female veterans, remember, any black woman who has survived America to become an adult is smarter and stronger and more deserving than a Confederate general. Just think about it. Fort Beyonce! Ooh. This has been... The wall of people who deserve to have bases named after them instead of Confederate generals. <laughs>